In today's video, we're gonna be talking about two terms when it comes to watches. And the first one is luxury. Is a watch considered luxury based on the price or not? And the next term is investment. Is a watch really an investment? So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about those two things when it comes to watches. So guys, give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, mentorship.ceo, and let's go. First thing, we're gonna go by the actual definition of luxury. And I'm gonna put it up on the screen so we can read it together. And that is a condition of abundance or great ease and comfort. And as we go down, it says something added to pleasure or comfort, but not absolutely necessary. So by reading this definition, which is in front of me, something added to pleasure or comfort. Hmm. A watch is something added to pleasure. Yeah, definitely something pleasurable for me. Uh, that's a given for most of us. Um, but not necessary. And I think that's the key word we need to take, not necessary. I haven't seen anything so far in this definition where it talks about money, the cost of it. So I think it's something that's not necessary. So when I think about it, I think a watch that's $100 isn't necessary because you could purchase one for $50, $20. You could purchase a Casio which is a really nice watch I would actually want to have. Um, for $20, tells the time, and it's more accurate than the mechanical watches, and it's not a necessity. So a watch, $100 plus, $500 plus, I would say is a luxury. Now, if I want to go a little bit deeper in this, maybe based on each individual, by let's say income or I don't know how much you have, that could really determine whether it's a luxury to you. So let's say I make a uh, hundred thousand a year and I have a watch that's five grand. That could be considered a luxury because that's a decent percent of my annual income into a certain item that's not necessary. So let's say for someone that's making 50,000 a year to have a $5,000 watch, that's more so a luxury because, you know, the ratio from income to how much that watch is worth, it just throws it off. Now, to really make a point of this example, let's say someone makes 5 million a year and owns a $500 watch. That watch wouldn't be considered a luxury, a luxury watch and it would be considered a luxury watch for somebody that's making maybe 50 grand a year. So hopefully you guys understand this example. Most of my videos, I kind of just go with the flow. I don't really plan a script too much. So, but that example, I think you guys understood what could be considered a luxury watch. Could be, it could vary from person to person, but based on the definition though, it kind of makes it clear where it's something that's not absolutely necessary. And I think I'll go with that one and not so much of the actual price of the item. So that's what I'm gonna say when it comes to luxury. Now let's talk about investment. In a few videos in the past, I've said watches aren't investments. And I wanna take that back a little bit. I'm still saying that it's not really an investment. It's not an investment like stocks or crypto, I'll consider an investment nowadays, and real estate. That's investments, real estate, stocks in my opinion, investments. Watches on the other hand, I would say for the most part are just labeled as collectibles. I wouldn't say a house or let's say you have a real estate portfolio is really collectibles, you know? Sure, it's a collection of your houses or whatever, but at the same time, it's not gonna be referred to as collectibles. It's really real estate investments. And watches in the past few years have been hyped up enough to where it can be viewed as an investment because of how these prices have been fluctuating and been so volatile in, in some months. So it can be viewed as an investment, but a small, a small part of it. Not all watches 
are investments. It's those unique pieces, those pieces that came out where it's hyped can be considered maybe an investment. And we can see so far in the past few months that watches aren't really the most reliable investments. Um, in the long, broad scheme of things for the past, let's say 50 years, sure you can look at the charts and see that watches have just continually gone up. But with these modern day technology and social media and how these dealers are playing this game, this secondary market and actual ADs, is really making it uncertain and not so reliable as an investment. Um, it's more so a hobby and a collectible, a collection. And if you so how, somehow make a, a, a profit on something, don't just call it an investment, you know? Um, but that's just my view on it. And let's just quickly just see what the term, uh, the meaning of investment is online. So the definition of investment online, I just Googled it, is the action or process of investing money for profit or material result. So guys, take what you want from that definition but to me, watches aren't fully considered investments in my eyes. Comment down below your opinion on those two terms, investments and luxury, and what you guys really think about it when referring to your watches. So guys, again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up for more videos to come like this, and hit subscribe so you can be notified when I post. So guys, follow me on Instagram, mentorship.ceo, and stay tuned for some more videos. Oh,